Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, A Tier of Vermilion. Since last time, I've left Ort Village and I've made my way back to the Lookout Cottage where we first began the game at because this game loves their backtrack. Yeah, here we are. Um, if you say so. Really? Your village was like a huge factory. How does this look remotely anything like Gia? I had not idea. Really, game? Seriously? You can't, <laughs> you can't even get something that simple, correct? Okay, yeah, we gotta look around, try to find uh, the item or whatever it is that's going to open up the Neftis Shrine. Because Lemurius was the guardian, but he's gone. So let's go check out this little scarecrow. Yeah. What? Oh, really? I eh, probably already forgot about the vision, so I don't really remember. But I'll take your word for it, even. Ooh, a letter! A letter and an amulet, huh? Um, yeah. You foresaw your own death? Wow, that's... Oh, you're just kidding. Who kids about stuff like that? Who kids about foreseeing your own death? That's kind of crazy. Oh, well, great. Awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the understatement of the year. Oh. Huh. Well, if you say so, Even does seem to be a pretty passionate person. At the beginning of the game, like, Even was going around telling everybody who would listen. Like, he would be getting on his soapbox, screaming at people. Like, if they looked at him cross-eyed, it was so good. I loved it. But now he's really calmed down ever since Miles' death. But before we go and visit his grave and, you know, say a prayer or whatever, let's go see what Marty and Muse are up to. Oh, yeah, that is a pretty good idea. Maybe he had, a, like, a diary or something? I don't know. Yeah. That's kind of sad. Wow, Muse. Here he is, dead. Dead. And you're talking about buying up his cottage as, like, some sort of vacation home, some sort of mountain retreat getaway. You're a bitch. Wow, what's your problem? Oh. Yeah. Rutis is growing on me, I've gotta say. She really is. She's been getting much nicer at the beginning of the game, and even in the middle of the game when she joined our party, I really didn't like her. But she's been getting better. Um, it's kind of personal. Yeah, you still have a lot that you have to accomplish. Miles dead. Emily's kidnapped. Emily, along with her little friend, is kidnapped, too. Come to think of it, I forgot her name already, but yeah, she's gone as well. Or wait. Wait, no. No, she wasn't kidnapped. They tried to kidnap her, but we rescued her. Right? I think so. I don't know. It's been quite a, some time since I've actually played this game. I just went on vacation to Atlanta. And, um, yeah, I'm back. I'm trying to finish this up, because been going on for quite some time, and I want to get to, um, the Wild Arms game that won the survey. I'm not going to spoil which game won the survey. We'll find that out whenever this game is over. You'll see. Okay. Why is that funny to you? Is it because the Scarecrow is supposed to be a person, and he's dead? Or the Scarecrow... Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because, like, a Scarecrow is, like, a guardian of a field that's trying to make sure that, you know, crows and vultures and other birds of prey or whatever it is don't, um, go and eat all of the, um, you know, fruits, vegetables, grains, whatever it is that's growing in the field. So they put a Scarecrow there to kind of scare them off. And maybe it's sort of a similar thing here. There's a Scarecrow, not necessarily to scare off, you know, animals, but to scare off anybody who might um, want to cause harm to the Neftis Shrine. And that's the only thing that I can think of here. Anyway, the two treasures that we can get here in the Notice Forest 
are the SPR Canum 2s, and I have been using quite a bit of potions, rare potions, SPR Canums, uh, things like that, in all of my backtracking because a lot of people haven't been, like, offering me rest. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's nothing over there. Um, but don't even worry about using all the potions. Like, don't use, like, the good ones. Like, part of the, you know, too good to use club, like the, um, Teresa Waters and things like that. But the regular potions, you'll be fine. Okay. That's one strange looking amulet, if you ask me. That's all we have to do? We just have to put this amulet on top of there and it will just glow and open up the way? Well, that's nice and easy, I guess. Oh, hey, awesome. It worked for us. We didn't have to pray and kneel and do a big old song and dance or anything? Eh, that's nice. Wow, this is like taking its sweet time, I've got to say. There we go. Awesome! So, can we head on inside now? Yeah. Um, actually, it is going to be pretty damn easy, if you ask me, because there really aren't a lot of monsters down here. Um, there is one monster that I will try to encounter, because it's kind of obnoxious, but the other monsters, like, you literally only run into maybe three or four monsters, um, and they're easily avoidable. Now, these are the guys that I was talking about that are pretty obnoxious. Um, the Laruvas. You have to use magic to kill them. Um, since they're wind elemental, you're going to want to use stone blast, any kind of earth elemental magic against them. It'd be nice if they were closer together and you could just blast both of them at the same time. But the reason why you have to use magic to kill them is because physical hits do no damage whatsoever, and they can hit you pretty hard, too. So this is not the area that you want to use to um, grind or gain levels or anything like that because it's just obnoxious. I mean, if you want to, you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would rather deal with, you know, an easier area to grind. So there we get the anti-chaos and a shield. Let's go ahead and check out that shield. Um, oh yeah, it raises her defense and magic defense. It does lower her avoidance, but... I'm going to go ahead and give it to her, and then just pass down um, Rutisa's stuff onto Muse. And Marty still doesn't really have much going on with his shields, but as we all know, there are flavors of the weak party members, and they'll probably be gone after this shrine anyway, so not too concerned with their equipment at all. The Anti-Chaos is an accessory that you can equip that will give you perfect protection against confusion, not that anything really inflicts confusion, but it's there. <laughs> oh, there's a treasure over there. Huh. That'll be uh, interesting. And let's just uh, continue on our way. We've uh, easily avoided some more monsters, and that's pretty much it for the monsters around here. Like, monsters that would be hard to avoid or anything else like that. Ooh, get a rare potion. Yeah, my pet's really starting to... Um, give up all those potions and everything that I need. Well, what do you have here? The one potion that I don't need is a stimulant. And I get it. No, sure, sure, sure. I need rare potions. I need rarer potions. I really need the SPR cannons because I used a lot of those um, in all my backtracking travels. Because pretty much I just went and killed everything en masse using spirit magic because it's just so nice. Isn't it? Oh, hey. Use keys to unlock doors. Oh. Okay, yeah. I thought that that treasure chest was um, down there, but I guess not. Ooh, nice! And then, yeah, there's like a little passage right through there. But now this is how you go and get the treasure chest, so everything is pretty easy to find in here, except for one really nice thing, but I'll show you exactly how to find that. Nice, get a rarer potion, and uh, continue on our way. Let's see what we have over here. Oh, this room, it's rather mazy. Um, it's kind of like a little labyrinth, but what you want to do is go up this passage, and then, yeah, veer over here to the right, and then head over towards the left. And there we go. Easy enough. Yeah, it's a maze, but you'll get through it. Now, here is the real tricky part right here. You would normally just go down those stairs, but do not! 
head over here for Secret Passage with super powerful stuff. And the Royal Power, Powder, whatever, it's whatever, it's a stupid item, but the Rare Tiamat! That's amazing! Look at this! Whoa! Yeah, it raises his attack power just by three, but that's good enough. But it raises his magic attack power by 30 points. And then go ahead and give that Swear Blade over to Marty. Um, just because. Why not? If you want to use him as a physical attacker, you can. If you want to use him as a magical attacker, you can. He fulfills both roles, but it's totally up to you what you want to deal with him. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I already have Rutis as my magical attacker, so I'm not going to really be using Marty as a magical attacker, but we shall see. really depends on um, what Neftis does to us. So we're almost at Neftis, thankfully, but oddly enough, the shrine isn't as symmetrical as other shrines, because for the most part, there's only treasure chests on the left-hand side. Yeah, there is no uh, accompanying treasure chest on the right hand side over there, which is odd. But that Teresa water, which I really like, it's basically like the elixir of this game. So those are really good. Um, we're coming up towards, you know, the final boss areas um, of the game. So do make sure that you start stockpiling some of those uh, better healing items there. Oh, another crappy ass shield orb. Like, I give a damn about that. All that does is. Like, it basically casts a spell to raise your magic defense, but it's completely useless. Then over here, it gets a little bit more symmetrical. Where's my pet have? Really? So, so far, three stimulants in this video, and I don't need a single one. What do you got for me? Oh, okay, I'll take it. I thought it was going to be another stimulant. I would strangle your damn bunny ass. And what do we have here? Oh, another royal powder. Awesome. Nice! So, next time on Let's Play The Legend Heroes, A Tier of a Million, we'll continue on and, uh, see what Neftis is up to. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.